What's up, FOA Squad? I'm Anthony, and welcome to our channel, Life with Anthony. I hope you guys are doing well out there. Happy Football Sunday to you guys. Best of luck to your home team. Our Ravens have a bye week this week, so we'll see them next week. All right, guys. Oh, my gravy. Can we just take a moment here and appreciate the lighting in my new home? The lighting, I have all eight lights on. I counted six when I did the tour, but I was pointed out <laughs> that it's eight. So I have all eight lights on up in here, boy, and the lighting is lit. It is lit. I am so super excited about today's video, guys. I mean, the anticipation of, oh my God, when is it time to cook? I'm ready to cook, <laughs> was just killing me because today I'm going to be fixing the first meal for the FOA community. I took a poll on the community page and I asked you guys, I gave you three choices that what meal would you like to see me cook first in here for the FOA community? And the three choices were baked ziti and garlic bread, Swedish meatballs and egg noodles, and chicken parmesan with mashed potatoes. I said mashed potatoes. And the winner was chicken parmesan and mashed potatoes y'all had to pick the hardest one for me to fix <laughs> but that's okay that's okay because we're gonna we're gonna work it out we're gonna work it out but before i get into all of the cooking here i want to just say oh my gravy we are now up to 42 rooms booked for the 2024 FOA party cruise. 42 rooms. That's all I'm gonna say. 42 rooms. We working it out. We working it out. All right, guys, let's get into this chicken parmesan. Now, I got this recipe from Gordon Ramsay. If I remember, I will link, or at least put the title of his video in the description. But y'all know me and my memory, so. If it's there, it's there, but I will do my best to try <laughs> and have it there for you. All right, can we, can we just, look at, look at, look at this, look at this. I'm walking around, I'm standing up. Woo, I might about to move. Woo. All right, stop playing, Anthony. Stop playing. We got a lot to do. A lot to do. All right, the first thing I'm going to do is prep this chicken breast. Now, y'all know I am a strictly, or until this moment, a boneless chicken thighs type of guy. But apparently, all chicken parmesans are made with chicken breast. And I can see why now. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is I can wash my hands oh my lord every time I open one of these things I always think that I'm going to slip my finger on the cutting part I got my I'm going to need two pieces of parchment paper reaching and putting stuff up <laughs> oh I got my air conditioner on I had that bad boy on all day today I'm telling you I'm taking full advantage of all the amenities that I have in this little house of mine all right I'm gonna back you guys up a little bit so that you can see what I'm doing and we can get it going Y'all probably thought I was going to cut, cut the, you know, no, we're not cutting. We're just going to back y'all up. <laughs> that's, that's what we're going to do. We're going to just, we're just going to back y'all up. <laughs> cut. Not in this video. Okay. I'm going to get, let me put that right there for now. Oh, you know what? I bought this nice little black table right here. This is my eating table as well as my laptop table when I want to relax and watch some movies or something. All right. Look where I put my, this is where I put my 
cutlery tray. Right in yonder. That's a, that's a big piece of meat. Oh my heavens. This is a huge. Alright. Man, this is a huge piece of chicken breast. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of salt and pepper on here. Salt, 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 and peppers here. Oh, baby, baby. Baby, baby. Oh, baby, baby. Ooh, I can do so many things now. Ooh, I can do so many things now while I'm cooking up in here. This will be a show for real. It gonna be our show for real. Let's do this side. Please let me remember all the steps. Cause I might have to cut y'all, <laughs> turn y'all off. <laughs> and go look at the video. But you know what? I have a second phone. It's my mother's phone, this is my mother's phone. And I should have had that phone on now. Alright, I like it on this side. Okie dokie. Bring, uh, bring that there. Now we're going to take the second piece of parchment paper, put it on top of there. We're going to take our rolling pin and we're going to roll it, roll it, roll it. Oh my lord. I might have to beat this bad boy down. Woo! I think I got my muscle shirt on today. <laughs> I think I got my muscle shirt on today because I'm going to need it. Ah, this thing is thick. Anthony, I done tore the dang on chicken breast apart. You know what? I should just use this piece. Yeah, let's just use that piece. Because this bad boy. Because this bad boy is. It's too thick. Somewhere to put this right quick. That's okay. We'll get it. All right, I'm gonna set that there for now because we gotta get rolling because we got a lot going on today. Even though it's only two, I should be able to work out work this out a little better. Do 
Okay, that's more like it. I'm gonna go ahead and put some more salt and pepper on it because half of it came off. But we're gonna put some salt and pepper just on the top. But oh, that wasn't enough pepper because I need to see the pepper. I need to see the pepper. All right, that's what I'm talking about right there. All right, so this is what this looks like. It's extra thin now, and that's what chicken parmesan is all about. It's thick, it's thinness. Okay, so we're gonna move this here. Oh, okay, yeah. We'll move that there for now. All right, let's get into these potatoes because I am making some homemade, homemade, If I can find my little knife. All right, I have two potatoes. They're not rustic potatoes. I don't think they are. But yeah, we're gonna peel these potatoes cut them up. I didn't bring my witch calm in here. I don't have my, um, ah, I don't have my strainer in here. Now I do have a little small trash can right here. But this little thing, <laughs> I've been done filled it up. All right, let's get into it. Now this don't have to be perfect. You know, some people like some skin on theirs or don't mind some skin on theirs. I'm one of those people. Because sometimes this thing works good for me and sometimes it doesn't. So a little... A little skin on there ain't gonna hurt nobody. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. I used to peel my potatoes with a knife. And then I used to cut like a quarter of the potato off. I used, I was always afraid to use this thing, but this is made so it doesn't, you know, do no harm to you. Normally, normally I would make my Idaho garlic mashed potatoes out of the pack. But Kathy from Traveling with Charity said, boy, you better make some homemade mashed potatoes and stop playing. <laughs> she did, Kathy told me, boy, you better make some homemade mashed potatoes and stop playing. So this is all Kathy's. look up and make sure that red light is on because I have a tendency sometimes to think I'm recording and they ain't recording nothing. And that would have been a shame. That would have been a shame. All right, we got that done and out the way. Go ahead and cut these up. I'm going to run out and get my dad going to um, run out and get my dad going. cut these potatoes up into blocks and they don't have to be that thin 
they're gonna boil and you're gonna mash them up anyway so let's not make them too dang on the fan I don't know I just thought about that like they don't have to be that dang on little Anthony you're gonna boil them anyway all right so let's get down there we go. Chop the bad boys up. <laughs> so the weather here has been really good. I am in Venus, Florida at Camp Mars. And that's why I have the air conditioner on. Baby, 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 baby. All right, guys, the next thing we're going to do is I have three pie trays here. I'm going to put flour, egg wash, and breadcrumbs. You gotta be careful when you're dealing with flour because flour just spatters all over the place. And that's way too much flour for one piece of chicken. Anthony, Anthony, Anthony. All right, let's do some eggs. four eggs. Now I wonder if I should put a little. He didn't put anything in. He didn't put anything in his eggs. I wonder if I should put a little milk in here. No, we're not making French toast in here. All righty. Now, hopefully I will time this correctly where Everything comes out right. <laughs> Everything comes out, you know, the potatoes, this. I got some seasoned panko breadcrumbs. All right. I'm gonna pour some of that in here. We need enough of this. Now, 
what uh, Gordon Ramsay did. He added some smoked paprika to the breadcrumbs. So I'm going to do that. He added some Parmesan cheese, but he had the um, shredded kind, where you had the shredder and the block of cheese, but I didn't do, do that. I'm doing just some Parmesan. And hopefully it will come out just the same, just the same. I believe it'll work, it'll work. Sometimes you gotta improvise. All right, let me get, I don't know whether he put salt and pepper in here or not, but I'm gonna put some pepper in there. I think he did put a little bit of salt and pepper. Y'all know, know I was gonna put some pepper in there. Put my uh, cloth. All right, you know what, I'm gonna use my hand. All righty, there we go, there we go. into that. I don't have no uh no mashed potato masher. But that's okay. Now let's get this uh on. <laughs> It's on. That baby is on. Let's get some oil in the pot, the pan for. Now Gordon Ramsay said usually they deep fry like um, the chicken, but since it's so thin, you can do it in the, on the cooktop. So that's what I'm gonna do. All right, I'm gonna turn this thing on in a minute. when I start frying that. Now, I have my oven outside. We'll go out there in a minute because I'm gonna to have to put this chicken parmesan in the oven as well. But I'll take you guys out there when we get to that point. Now I'm gonna need some space here. Because what Gordon Ramsay did I want to do him proud. I want to do him proud. <clears throat> Ooh, Anthony, you got some counter space, but it look like you need a little bit more. All right, what he gonna get? What he did first? Oh yeah, this is thin. All right, in the flour first. I'm gonna need this paper. In the flour first. Anthony, you have way too much, way too much flour. But I wanna make sure all of this is coated. All of it is coated. Nice and coated. You wanna shake off the excess? Shake it off, baby, shake it off. And then in the egg wash. <laughs> yes, we want to make sure 
Now he had a lot of eggs in his where the chicken, he can push the chicken underneath the eggs. That's not happening with me. But I'm just gonna flip this bad boy over nice and neat. There we go. Put some of that egg wash everywhere. There we go. Then we're gonna take that out and into the breadcrumbs. Oh my, ooh, look at that. Oh my gosh. Into the breadcrumbs. Now he really got into it with these breadcrumbs. Oh yeah. I mean, he was taking the breadcrumbs and making sure it was all, they were all coated up. Oh, yes, indeed. Now, I'm gonna have to move these things out the way. Look at all that eggs. I'm gonna keep that eggs and I'm gonna make me some scrambled eggs in the morning. Y'all know usually I chuck it. <clears throat> I like to clean up. <laughs> I like to clean up. All right, I have enough, uh, parchment paper that I'm going to use some fresh parchment paper. Ain't no use to using no dirty paper when you got all this because I don't know when I'm going to use some. I don't know when I'm going to use any more parchment paper. Alright, now what I want to do is take this out of here. parchment paper once again yeah I need even more space put that nut sheet on there now what you're going to do is take your rolling pin once again and you're going to gently push down on it you don't need to push down on it hard because you're not trying to flatten it out any further. What you are doing is making sure that Parmesan, the breadcrumbs, and all that good stuff sticks to that chicken. All righty. Let's see what we have here. Oh, there we go. There we, ooh, oh my goodness. That's what it's looking like. Look at that. Ooh -hoo. Now let's get this one going. Okay, let me move this stuff out of the way. I got too much stuff on my counter. Too much. Okay, 
I'm learning how to use the stuff. All right, we're gonna go ahead and let that. Ooh, these potatoes are really boiling up. Where's my fork? Apparently those things ain't done that quick. They're not done that quick. That looks so good. <laughs> I'm half tempted at this point to put some more pepper on top. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to put some more of this smoked paprika on top to give it some color. There we go. <laughs> Oh my goodness. This is so exciting. This is so exciting. I can clear up off some of this stuff. I gotta get me something to put all this stuff on to make it nice and neat. Boy, them potatoes are boiling, boy. Look at them potatoes. Oh, let me turn this thing on. More noise. Oh, that's quiet on setting one. <laughs> that's not bad at all. All right, let's go ahead and drop this in. And here's where this will be needed. Get up. Look at that, baby. Look at that. Now, he didn't put a top on here, so I'm not going to put a top on mine. Oh, wowza, look at this. <laughs> wowza, wowza. <laughs> this is so exciting. said just two and a half minutes. And then he said, flip it over, add some butter. He said this is going to help. Gonna help crisp it up. Two and a half minutes. I think that's two and a half minutes. I don't know. All right, 
And that's going to be it. Yeah. On that plate that goes. I'll leave that there. All right, guys, I have my bacon dish. I turned my oven on on the outside. And now we're gonna prep this to go into the oven. I'm gonna take a little bit of this. Ah, so much for a little bit. take our chicken parmesan our chicken lay that in there now we just putting this right down the center we're not spreading it all over just right down the center a little bit more all right that's enough right down the center then what I have here Maserati. <laughs> Maserati. <laughs> I'm thinking of cars. I have some fresh. Maserati cheese. Maserati cheese. Why can't I say that today? Good gracious. take this out and, and put it in the oven. Woohoo! Until that cheese melts down on it. Mm -mm -mm. Alright guys, this oven is going to be hot. We don't need it to be really hot because we don't need to cook this. We just need that cheese to melt on here. I wonder if I should keep the top on. Hmm. All right, we'll come back and check on that. But in the meantime, let's get back in here and finish up these mashed potatoes. Ooh, that's hot. Okay, yeah, they're good. I'm gonna take this water and dump it outside because <laughs> I, I don't I, I'm not, I don't feel comfortable dumping that hot water down the drain, even though it's probably built to do that. But that's really hot, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside and, and drain it. All right. 
Alrighty. We're gonna get some butter and milk. And finish these off. I'll put some salt and pepper. to our FOA community. Welcome, welcome. And I'm just gonna give you a heads up right out the gate. I love pepper, so you're gonna see me using a lot of it. And one more. Get that butter going in there. milk. I know what I want to use. A little bit of milk at a time. Ooh, that might be too much, Anthony. That might be too much milk. Oh my heavens, Anthony. Oh my goodness, Anthony. You're gonna have soup. Ouch! I cut myself on what? What did I cut myself on? Oh my god. I'm gonna stop bleeding in a minute. Ah! Got their knife was sticking up. All right, there we go. <laughs> Good comeback. Good comeback. Yay! <laughs> oh, this knife. Bad knife. Bad knife. Ah, there we go. That's the way I like them. All right, guys, let's plate. Let's plate this delicious meal up. We'll sit that. Chicken parmesan on a bed of mashed potatoes. This bad boy is hot. It's hot. Sprinkle a little bit of pepper on top. Alright guys, here it is. <laughs> My chicken parmesan over a bed of mashed potatoes. Now I would let me raise y'all just a little bit. Alright. Now I would have made some vegetables, but I don't have another small pot, so I could have been like making some corn because I do have some canned corn and some canned string beans but nonetheless nonetheless this is a look at this meal oh my heavens look at that wowzer let's just hope that it tastes <laughs> as good as it looks oh 
Alrighty, I'm so ready to dig in. Where do I begin? <laughs> Where do I begin? There's a lot. This is something that you see when you go to like one of them diners. All right, I don't have no mozzarella or anything on this first bite. This will be the bite. my first time making chicken parmesan. I knew it had to be good because there's nothing on this plate that I don't like. I like all of these things. I like mozzarella cheese. I like chicken. I like uh, mashed potatoes. So how could this not be a wowzer, wowzer, wowzer? Oh my goodness. The chicken is nice and uh, tender. Oh, what's that? That's one big chunk of potato I didn't, <laughs> I didn't cut that, chop down. Mmm, oh my goodness. Mmm, 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 wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. I kid y'all not, this reminds me of a diner meal. <laughs> Uh-uh-uh. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. These nuts in here. Well, oh, this is delicious. I don't think I can eat all this stuff. This is what you call a hearty meal right here, boy. This is a hearty meal. Look at that. That mozzarella cheese stuck to that chicken boy. Mm -mm -mm. Mm. mashed potatoes anyway. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm, mm, -mm. Woo. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to put all this down, boy. <laughs> I don't know. Thank goodness I bought some um, containers so I can put some leftovers in the refrigerator. take off my hat can y'all see that look at that it's for real this for real and it's not hot in here because I got my air conditioner on all this y'all <laughs> I can't I can't oh I can't I can't 
I want to so badly. So badly. Mmm. That was too much, Anthony. All right, one more, one more, one more. Put the knife down, Anthony, put the knife, step away, step away from the knife, Anthony. Oh my goodness. Ah. Woo! Oh my goodness, guys. I can't. Where my containers? Woo! I bought me some containers. Because I knew this moment was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. This is too much food. Oh my heavens. Mm. I don't have to cook tomorrow. That's it. Alright guys, that's going to be a wrap for today's video. As always, thanks for taking a few minutes out of your day to watch my videos. I appreciate you guys, you know that, and I'll see you guys the next time.